Hello everyone. <coughs> Today I am going to explain you two days code forces problem. Random numbers. I am not going to uh, read the whole, whole description. So for this problem, if you want to understand the problem, you have to have clear knowledge on recursion and dynamic programming. Okay. So come to the problem. Let's come to the problem. In this problem, you have been given a string, and this string is uh, this string will have only five types of character: A, B, C, D, and E. And every character is capital. And also, every character has a value. A is a is 1, B is 10, C is 100, D is 1000, and E is 10,000. So come to the uh, first test case D, A, 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 B, D, C, A. So the value for D is 1000, A is 1, 1, 1, B is 10. D is 1000, uh, C is 100, and A is 1. Now, you have to check this for every character. For this character, is there any greater character on the right side? So this A doesn't have any character on the right side. So this A does not have any greater character on the right side so if the character does not have any greater character on the right side then this will be positive okay otherwise negative so this C has A on the right side but A is not greater than C so this will be positive D doesn't have any greater character on the right side so this will be positive B B has greater, greater character on the right side which are D and C both are greater than B so this will be negative A has greater character any on this C D or B any any character is greater than A so this will be negative this A will be negative this A will be great negative and finally T will be positive because there is no greater character than D there is a T but this is equal to this character so this will be positive so if there is greater character on the right side then <coughs> this will be negative and if there is no greater, greater character on the right side then this will be positive okay and this whole value is the value for the current string okay so come to the problem in the problem you have told to do an operation only one operation okay only one operation and in that operation you can change any character you can change any character with the rest of the five character okay rest of the four character I mean so you can change this D into E. So you can change this D into E, but you can do it only one time. And after doing that one time, you can you can check the value for the character uh, for the whole string. And if the uh, so if the uh, value is greater than the current value, then that will be stored on the answer. Okay. So usually what you have to do is, generally what you have to do is, you have to find the maximum value for each chance, each chance. You can change this D with E, A, B, or C. You can change this A, B, C, D, or E. Similarly, this A can be changed A, this A, this B, this D, this C, this A. Okay? So by changing that only one time you have to calculate what will be the maximum value 
what will be the maximum value for this string for this string okay and this will be the final answer so if you do it by uh, if you do it by doing brute force then the time complexity will be first for each character there will be n and for each character there will be chains of five right uh, for each character you have to uh, find the value of the whole string so another n so this will be n square so by brute force you can't solve this problem it will give you TLE so we have to use uh, dynamic programming so if I come to the code so in the uh, DP state there will be three variable okay first one is position second one is changed and third one is max so this one is the current position of the string this one is changed <coughs> this flag will uh, determine whether the operation has already been done or not so if the op change operation already already been uh, already been done this change will uh, the value of this change will be one and if the value is zero then the change operation has not been done and finally the max this is the maximum character on the right side from the current position okay. so if I come down so the base um, uh, base case will be if the position is less than 0 then uh, simply it will return 0 okay. and this will store the dp values all the dp values in this map so i have created a map of tuples and in this tuple there is, there will be three variable because there is three state in this dp okay so now come here so there will be two option if there is uh, the change operation already been been done then you don't have to do any change operation you can't do any change operation but if the change operation has not been done before so you have two options now either you can change the uh, change the current position or you don't need to change the current position okay so if you want to change the current position then you can uh, you can run a loop loop a to e and for every character you can uh, you can run another recursion okay for every character you can run an another dp uh, uh, <coughs> for every character you can run the recursion and uh, store the maximum one store the maximum one and another thing if the current position and the character is same then you don't need to change the character right so this value will be zero but on the otherwise the changed value will be one because here here the operation has been done right so this value will be one and here the current position is equal to the character so then there no need to do any operation okay so this is one case and another case if there is already and the operation has already been done already been done so this mm, in this case Mm, there is no need to do any operation so the current position will be passed into the recursion and 
and the change variable will be one and the max variable will continue to be stored in by doing max with the current of uh, current position value or character finally you will return the answer so you are doing the maximum operation for each character or each change and returning the final dp answer and you have to keep storing that in the cache or map otherwise you will uh, you will get a time limit exit okay so this is the dynamic problem solution for this problem